Elmer's Queens. This is where I grew up. This is my block. You know, cartels, MS-13, 18th Streets, and there is like he was calling for his man. Still, like yo, he was like yo, go get the go get the switch. After we hey yo, why it just start coming down yo, hard as fuck soon as we started walking? Dilla talks some shit, let him know we outside and rain ain't stopping oh, no more. Ain't no stopping shit, the rain ain't stopping shit. You know we outside, come yeah, on, we, we out here in Elmer's please. Queens on my block, Van Cleek Street. You know what the fuck going on? Biggie LM, everyone loyalty matters, check in. Oh shit. It's coming down like a motherfucker. It just started storming hard as fuck. Cause I'm still kind of confused on how New York works. Can you break down like what New York is? Is the Bronx and like the Bronx, Harlem, so right Queens? Here, this is Manhattan right here. It's a whole, it's like a whole little island. And this is the Bronx right here. And then we in Queens right here. And this is the Brooklyn. And Staten Island, you know, we don't really consider that a borough, but yeah, Staten Island right there too. But yeah, there's different gangs and different hoods and shit like that. You know, there's gangs in Brooklyn that you ain't gonna have in gangs in the Bronx. But there's some gangs in Queens that you're gonna have the gangs in Brooklyn and shit like that. Are those cities or neighborhoods? So those are the cities. So Queens is a borough. Brooklyn, um, Manhattan, Bronx, the Bronx, Brooklyn. The yeah, Elmer is Queens. This is where I grew up. This is my block. Playing football on the con on the sidewalk and shit like that. Man, I ain't got no grass, no nothing over here. No, nah, right here. Just used to just toss a baseball shit like that, toss a football shit like that, you know? Had a very diverse childhood growing up because you know, right here there's a lot of Southeast Asian people, like Indian people and shit like that, Pakistani people, Bengali people, a couple black friends growing up. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I've been robbed, like sliced up, shit like that, you know, going just getting myself into situations, you know. The Hispanic gangs love using knobs like <laughs> the Patria boys and shit like that. This was the time when I was hustling. I had, I was trying to flip a pack. One of my peoples I knew since um since I was in middle school type shit. You know, I didn't really think of much when we when we linked up. He called me like a couple days ago and said, yo, I need a pack and shit like that. This time he knew I was hustling and shit like that, right? A couple days later I pull up on him and I guess he was he was with his man. He was trying to weigh out the pack and shit like that. So I was like, ah right, but let's weigh out the pack. So I weighed out the pack, we parked up, I was weighing out the pack. After weighing out the pack, he grabbed it. Hey, you know, I knew what time it was, you know, I knew what time it was, like, like, damn, you switched up, like, you know, it was, it was some dude I knew since, like, middle school type shit. He did that, you know, we got into it, the car. Um, he was with his mans, so I was punching this dude, socking him up, and while I was getting into it with, with, with this dude, um, he was calling for his man still like yo he was like yo go get the go get the switch like the the switch blade or some shit from the back of the car i'm in the back seat like so i was in the back seat and i was weighing up the weed and he he in the passenger seat home his man's in the driver's seat he hopped back into the back seat and we start getting it on and then i see on my peripheral vision his man's he going into the back of the trunk and he come out with a he come out with a switch and shit like that he with a switch blade and then he starts slicing me up and shit like that while I'm trying to, you know, punch his man. And I guess what it was, he was trying to start up the car and shit. I'm still trying to fight off this dude right here. I'm like hanging out the driver's seat, like the whole pack, you know, like they got it, but I managed to get it, but I ripped the whole pack open, you feel me? So all the weed, all the weed spilled out and shit. Damn. So I'm like, yeah, ain't nobody gonna get it now. So fuck it, I'm about to go out. I'm about to go out crazy. I'm hanging out the car door while, he, while he's, you know, racing off and shit. And I'm trying to break that shit off. Like eventually, I had to go. I had to let go of that car door. Beside the gang, there is like you know. Let's talk about you know cartels, MS-13, 18th streets, and there is like Albanian mafias, Russian mafias. You know some of the Italian heads. You know they be they be moving on the dollar, but you know they be still making a money. You know on the top chain of the hustling. So you talk. We can talk about the Chinese. You know on the flashing, the families. They consider themselves as a family. You know not like a mafia, not like a gang and shit. Everybody's moving here, you know, in the low key. So it's just like over there more towards the boulevard, there's like little Chinese gambling spots and shit like that. They got ties to the mafia and shit like that, like the Chinese mafia and shit. They got little, you know, little quiet spots around here and there. They be saying shot up and shit, you know? What's it be fucking with? It's like a little bigger than the, what the gangs be fucking with. You know, when the gangs be fucking with, they, you know, wait, 
little white girls selling around them them i'm not gonna say too much it's just like it's bigger than that you know the pictures of that shit most of the youngings who be drilling right now it's just like everybody trying to do for the cloud and shit but niggas doesn't have a really heart you know and that's the that's the fucked up thing because you know once they're promoting the shit they not be doing it and there is other kids be seeing that shit and just trying to be like act like them be like them like act like a cool and shit but you know ending up in the bars and you know just wasting their life at the end of the day you know your life is only once you know so you gotta just think about it because you know the technology be going up you know so the cops be getting smart too with that shit just gotta make it right you know that's what i that's what i believe for me it's just like streets since I ain't the same anymore, you know, because there is no respect. And that's crazy, just the aspect of uh, having like your friends switch up on you type shit. I've been through so many situations, not like exactly those type of situations, but you know, that same scenario where someone switches up. Like that shit's happened like so many times in my life where I feel like, damn, this is, you know, I can't even trip. It's just, if anything, it's just God showing me who really, who really with me and who really not, you feel me? And it's like, damn, it's, it's crazy because I have real love for these people, you feel me? And it have, I'm not even talking about just one or two, it's just like several people, peoples over the years coming up with this music shit, you know, and just seeing myself get better with this shit, seeing myself do better, you know, people, you know, switch up, you know, you more focused on your life, people feel a type of way, shit like that, you know? No, that's a fact. You know, like, you doing better for yourself, and you know, people get jealous, I guess. If anything, it's a blessing, I, you feel me? It's a gift from God, like, he really showing you who, who really your man, who really gonna be in your corner. Yeah, I can tell you one time, it was me, dude right here, and we was the two other people that we don't really fuck with right now, because what I'm about to tell you, a couple blocks over that way, you know, we just had a bottle, you know? Motherfuckers just getting lit. It was off the Henny and shit like that. He got into it with some dude across the block. They was just walking like, like how we walking right now. And they walking up right now. He got into it with some, some dude on the other side of the block where we was just chasing him now. It was just four of us. And it was, it was just that one dude. And he kept running. He kept running, running, running up the block. And we kept chasing him. No, we was just off the Henny and shit. So we was chasing him, chasing him. And out of nowhere, we turned the block and just like, 10, 15 <laughs> other Asian motherfuckers right there too, waiting right there, <laughs> which was his homie. And it's like four of us. So immediately we had to, you know, we gotta get it on. This guy, you know, this guy moving suspicious. He'd be like running, stopping, running and stopping. I'm like, hold on, some shit is all right, you know. And what happened is that two of them just stayed away. So it's only me and him. <laughs> 15 heads, I'm seeing him, ah, oh my god, man, shit was not funny. <laughs> so we ended up fucking getting their bikes, oh, yeah. you know, cleaning them up. You know, what about the OGs and YGs? That's the, like the difference be coming up because the OG heads, I'm be, I'm be respect, I still respect the OGs, you know, but uh, there were certain rules back in the days. Nowadays it's just like a, you gotta get it, you gotta get it, the money, you know, so you don't give a fuck about rules, you don't give a fuck about anybody. Because there's too many cultures and at the end of the day, the people be believing their own people, own kind, you know, and that's, that's how it comes down to it, you know. What do you think the biggest lesson life taught you? You just gotta adapt to your surroundings, type shit. Like, no matter what situation, no matter what type of environment you're in, no matter what happens to you, you just gotta pick yourself back up and say you a gangster. <laughs> and you finish that shit, you feel me? Like, gangster. That's like the motto I've been taking up my whole life. Just, you know, finish the mission, you know? Or some shit like Life of Marathon, like some Nipsey Hustle shit.